the French lady, one of my people, um, De- Minister of Canadian Heritage, as if that's a real thing. She's got the rainbow flag in her uh, her profile. She's a member of parliament. So let's call it a house member if we're in the U.S. She says, and she's a liberal, so she's in the government power. Uh, Meta's reckless choice to block news before the act is enforced is hurting access to vital information on Facebook and Instagram. We're calling on them to reinstate news sharing today for the safety of Canadians facing this emergency. We need more news right now. So there's wildfires in Canada again, of course, because now every time there's a wildfire, it's international news. But what she's saying, Eric, is even though we're blocking, um, <laughs> even though we're, our legislation is making it so that you can't show people, you know, news anymore, you need to allow it to be shown until it goes into effect, or else you're being you're being a bad company. So it's okay when the government says that you have to censor things or pay them. But if the social media company goes ahead and does it on their own anyways, because obviously they want people to be upset about this and tell the government to turn it off. It's bad. So government censorship, bad social media censorship, bad, but unless it's going to, it's unless it's going to help the, the news about the wildfire, then we got to stop it. So this is the insane thinking that we're dealing with here, that this person thinks that telling the social media companies to unblock news because they don't have to yet that that's like a good play and a good look. Yeah. Well, it's obviously all, every single thing we, we know now and we sort of beat this. There's several running themes of the show, but every single thing we obviously know is about gaining control. So it's always a different way of gaining the same control. Right. So there's, and do they want us to believe First of all, another question that's pretty standard here is, does she realize how out of line this is and and does it anyway? Like, I would much I would much rather have somebody who is, you know, a smart scam artist, power hungry politician who's just who's who understands the scam versus some people who I guess are not so much politicians but the you know, residents, the citizens who think people are actually, who think the politicians are actually doing good for them. Right. So does she know, does she go home and realize like, does she go home and think like, Oh, I'm doing a good thing. Or does she sit down at the crib and drink coffee or whatever and, and know absolutely how insane it is and know that all of it's just for power or do they actually do they, you you see what I'm saying? It's a pretty standard Mm -hmm. question, right? Like, where where do we draw the line? I mean, obviously, there's a lot of stupid people out there, but I think it's more likely that there are malicious villains. But I don't know. Hmm. Well, I would think that this one in particular, you know, this one in particular, I would think that she is she believes that, you know, it's the social media company's fault. They should be paying the company, the news companies that because they align with her the mainstream media companies that are blocked. I mean, you can still go on. You can still talk about news. My friend, Matt Brevner, rapper, reporter, extraordinaire. Um, he posts stuff about the wildfires on, on social media right now. He can still do that, but she thinks that the social media companies should be paying these news sites for whatever reason. And therefore this thing should, this should never have to happen. We shouldn't have to censor you. You know, we shouldn't ha- we shouldn't have to force you to pay. You should just do it out the good of your heart. That's what a lot of these, you know, she's a liberal, but I'm guessing that she's only a liberal because the far leftists don't have any power or else she would be with them because those are the type. Let's be honest. White woman in her 30s or for- early 40s um, thinks that everything is evil and patriarchal. She's a gay woman. She needs to promote that. She's a far leftist. She's just going where the power is because she wants a job because she's not qualified to do anything else because she, I believe she was an Olympic athlete. Um, they they think that this should be just given to them. Everything should just be given to you. The social pe- media companies have tons of money. Give it, give it to them no matter what. Forget it with the ethics. It's all fine. So I think that she really does believe that, you know, it's on Facebook and Instagram to pay this stuff because she too is probably one of those people who are like, I have to go to Instagram for my news. And that re- brings me to my other point, Eric, where as much as I disagree, I disagree that the social media companies should have to pay the news companies because you're using a platform willingly as much as it sucks. 
I also disagree that the government should be forcing this. But on the other hand, go to a different website. I'll do Joe Biden. Go to a different website, man. Like these are the we know that all these same people who are complaining about this say that Zuckerberg's a lizard person. You know, he's a piece of crap. I hate Facebook. They shadow ban everybody. But you won't go to a website like I don't I don't use social media for my news. That's not how I find my news. I go to directly to news websites. Call me crazy. crazy. Yeah, exactly. That's crazy. And so this doesn't affect me at all. You know what's on my, um, <laughs> you know, you know what's on my algorithm, Eric. Um, you know, offensive memes and fat guys playing basketball. <laughs> so my algorithm is safe. If you people will spend ninety percent of their day posting about the lizard people and about the conspiracies and how the news is lying to you, and then at the end of the day, they're just like, at the end of the day, by the way, at the end of the day, they're just like, I can't go. You can't even go to Infowars.com. You're not going to TheBlaze.com. You can't go to any of these websites just to get news. No, I have to have it all in one app. And it's just, you know, the same people who are who are just like, well, I'm against all this other stuff, but I'm still going to get vaccinated in order to go to work. Uh, what's the problem here? You know, it's like a neocon take, yet it's from people who are regularly, you know, f- let's call them the freedom oriented people or conspiracy theorists or whatever you, anybody who's against, you know, social media's norms, they're just not willing to get off the platform for some reason. I don't get it. Well, I'm looking at my algorithm right now, the Instagram explore page. And I don't know. Um, you know, I don't know how it works, but I have this theory that there's, I have one friend of mine who sends me certain things and then it, it, it screws up the algorithm. And then it like, you know, he'll send me this like, super dark stuff that like shouldn't even be on instagram and i'm like dude stop sending me this stuff like I, is un- it me no it's not you but this guy will like he, he'll send bro i don't even want to mention it like he i'll will tell send, you he'll send me like faces of death type stuff that uh, i don't even know how it even got, is remains on instagram yeah. turn it up jordan